When you Niggas real mad, niggas real rest, niggas real mad cause they all look a mess. Never been stressed, always been blessed. I will go down in history as the best. Anybody tryna come for me, I got him. And anybody tryna come for me, I rob him. And anybody tryna say I is a problem. We out of the job, let me find out. As you, they told me about you yesterday. <laughs> These people don't know me, they don't even know themselves. They be so caught up in what we doing. their kids eat motherfucking rice for dinner every night and oatmeal for uh, breakfast every morning and Not goddamn oatmeal. cereal for lunch. I was going to say Frosted Clakes and a, and, a, and a bologna sandwich. But shit, most of these bitches is over here sleeping on somebody else's floor, carpet, couch, blow a bed, something. You know what I'm saying? It's a nothing but a yeah. bunch of dusty hoes that ain't got shit that be talking yeah. about us all day on the damn show. Yeah. Literally. You, you, you definitely, oh my I'm god, so you're hard to work It with really is like, you got, because look, look at our audience. The audience that we have is ghetto, right? Mm hmm. And the, yeah. So usually it's trigger. People be calling their cousin, like, hey, can I use your subscription? Because a bitch ain't even got $5.99, $6.99 on her fucking cash app card, or her, she don't even have a bank account. So I really, honestly, I come to the conclusion that I'm sitting here arguing with a bunch of bummy ass bitches that don't have shit. Look at our audience, the 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 where 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 we pick up from. Ghetto, mm -hmm. wretched ass hoes. And, and bitches that sit up. We and, just ghetto and wretched hoes with some money. <laughs> Them ghetto wretched hoes that's sleeping on a pissy ass mattress. That mattress probably got cigarette holes, burns up in that motherfucker, piss from the baby coming sleepy sleeping through the baby's diaper. Cause she ain't want to change the baby diaper because she too into walking baddies. It, screaming at the TV, her little box TV that she finna go pawn next week. Cause she ain't got no motherfucking money for a bag of weed or some alcohol. Oh, oh that's a nasty, disrespectful. Oh, that's a nasty, watch disrespectful it. thing. Don't that's forget exactly. with their government phone and their government Wi-Fi. It, uh, <laughs> bitch walking to McDonald's to get Wi-Fi so she could call her motherfucking sneaky link. Cause that dirty dick nigga ain't got no phone either. So she gotta call her his brother phone so he could come get on the bus and scrape that little coochie, the little dust off that coochie. Dion, can you go Girl. get uh my weed tray, baby? Out the bathroom. Girl, when they not worried about us, bitch, they definitely be worried about the wrong shit. Like where they nigga at and who he fucking. I'm gonna tell you where your nigga at, baby. He over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh motherfucking bitches don't even know how to clean the food out the pot from the other night, so they gonna what boil the, some rice. And they don't clean the food out their motherfucking teeth. Or if they don't clean is. the food out their teeth. Or they motherfucking asshole, what make you think they gonna clean it out of motherfucking pot? Pot's been sitting in the motherfucking sink for a whole motherfucking week. Because these hoes don't be having no coop. They used to living in trap houses and shit. <laughs> yeah. But see, me, I want better. After I got a cap busting my ass, minding my business in the hood, guess what I did? I got my shit, and I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at I offended all the people that that fit the criteria. If it fit the criteria, don't show you mad. If it you don't, know who I'm talking I'm about. And if bitch, I got bunny from being me. Even when I was me, I wasn't one of them type of bitches. Exactly. You still you have not anybody who really knows you knows that you have not changed. You've been the same since day one. Since if day anything, one. Bitch, I feel like you was nice this season. I feel like you was holding yourself back. No, I don't give a fuck. I still do what I want to do. I say what I want to say, and I'm going to continue to be the same way. I just hope people, if they're going to hate me, hate me. I don't give a flying fuck. Talk about some of the old me, bitch. This is still the same me. The same fucking you. Ain't oh, you ain't did old. No, you ain't did nothing. No, no you want to know what's bitch. old that they miss? They miss me being the butt of the joke with Chance. And he gets to talk shit about me every fucking chance he could get. Everybody love that shit. And will be sitting there laughing with his ass and then sitting there telling me, oh, you're too good for him. Nah, y'all love, y'all y'all want me to be the, 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 the laughing stalk and that's y'all problem. Find somebody else to do it, bitch. It's yeah. called elevation. Somebody. A lot yeah. of y'all bitches don't have that because y'all suck. And that's why a lot of y'all bitches be on the county bill, on the county until y'all 40 something years old. Still getting the Government assistance, bitch. I work my way up off that shit. Bitch, I wish I could get some fucking government assistance, bitch. I ain't never gonna bash it, but 
It's it's a system. It's a come up. It's not it's a, something no, that you're no, supposed no, no, to be no. on. It ain't, it ain't no come up. I'm about to tell you what it is. Them motherfuckers will offer you to take classes to get a job. They'll pay for your schooling. A lot of these bitches that be sitting there talking shit be the main ones that don't want to get the help and, and elevate. Like I said, I ain't bashing no bitch because I was just once there once upon a time. But guess what? It's called get off your ass and work, Shirley. The fuck you talking about? Even when I was on that shit, I made sure I got up and got my... I never, I never was a sit-around type bitch. I made a name for myself. So what if I had to roll around with some motherfucking fettuccine? Bitch, look where I'm at now. So what if I was on Vivica Fox showing... It's talking about how much I was a goddamn BBW stripper. So what? I look where I am now. It's called work. Hard work, elevation. I didn't have an agent. I never had a manager. I never had nobody help me to get to where the fuck I am now. And you don't technically have to have a dream to be on bad either. That's what a lot of y'all bitches is. Think that, that this is a dream and a career. Like, a lot of bitches don't even make it. Do you know how long I've been on this network? Do y'all know how long I've actually been on this motherfucking network? I worked mm -hmm. my ass off to get to where the fuck I am. Nobody didn't give me a helping hand. Once I met Zeus, they put me on because they seen the motherfucking goddamn, um, they seen that I met the criteria. Bitch, I know how to have fun. I know how to be funny. I know how to stop when they say stop on it. It ain't even all about fighting. And that's what the fuck a lot of bitches come on this show thinking it's about. No, if they can't work with you, if you not work winnable, do you think if I was a bitch, and and I wasn't working with him. Do you think Zeus would still be working with me? So yeah, a lot of people no. is very judgmental because I am towards bitches. But when I'm working with any company, they're gonna make sure that they're gonna want me back. So that's what the fuck I did. No matter what I did, bitch, I went to school to be a dental hygienist. That wasn't gonna be my career, and I wasn't gonna make it one. So guess what I did? I got my ass up and I worked. Yes, ma'am. What are you talking about? Hey, CJ. That's the only person who got an ass bigger than yours, honey. Exactly. CJ, the motherfucking trainer. My brother. But yeah, a lot of bitches talk shit. Y'all still stuck in the same fucking place, bitch, where I was. Y'all cannot talk shit about me, and bitch, you still motherfucking waiting on a goddamn government check to pay your rent. Like, y'all bitches can't say shit about me. Y'all still stuck where I was, bitch. I elevated, and that's the problem. And you gonna keep elevating. You keep gonna keep elevating. going up. Girl, I, I foresee be a Tyler Perry movie in your future. Man, Mr. Perry, let's go. But at the end of the day, like I said, I don't let these comments phase me. They can say whatever the fuck they want to. Because guess what? When I wake up in my three-bedroom home and my son is well-fed and taken care of and he got everything he need from the shit that I did on TV, bitch, you can't tell me shit. Y'all bitches just blow my name up every fucking it. season. It ain't Guaranteed you, I'm gonna still be getting mentioned next season. Watch, it's still gonna be rolling this, rolling that. Not even there. Not even there. And they Not running their motherfuckers. <laughs> you know they're gonna be running their cum guzzlers. Cum motherfucking guzzlers, like bitch, bye, bitch, bye. Mm. Shit, to some, some bitches it is. Fuck you talk about. If a bitch got low income and she get in the county, she get $500, that bitch rent probably $0. Ooh. And bitches get, get used to shit like that. They get Worthless ass bitches sitting there talking shit about me, bitch, please. I they get real comfortable. My work. That's why I got the fuck up and did what I did. And bitches mad because I elevated. Body and all, bitch. Talk what you want. Going, bitch. bitch, know I look good. Bitch can't stop even looking at the videos that I post. She'll go right back to that motherfucker. Just keep replaying it, sending it to people. Because yes, a bitch can't believe I look this good. Bam. Bitch, I'm ready for you to come to Houston so I can, so I can really show you how my city turns the fuck up. Cause I ain't not been to Houston too many goddamn times. Girl, you ain't just turned up here yet. Yes, you, I have. You, Trust. You, you ain't talks. been to the good hood spots, baby. Honey, yes, I. How you gonna tell me where you I have been? Where I have way before I even got on Zeus. Not with Zeus. Way before I've been there. Trust the belief. Girl, girl, I gotta, I gotta show you, baby. You know, you know us. Our yeah, clubs you, don't close. You, you can show me without popping off at people, getting us into trouble. Girl, what are you talking?
talking about? They don't you know what I'm talking out. about, bitch? Don't sit there and start acting all crazy. Talking about what am I talking about, bitch? You know what you did at my motherfucking show, ho? You know what you did at my, on my show? And I'm glad. I, I hope that they caught that shit with some cameras too. So crazy ass. Girl, I don't have no Somebody, idea. Where the fuck is he at? Where is he at? How you gonna try to fight somebody at the strip club, Hot Wheels? Cause the hoe was fucking with me, so I you, had to fuck back. You was drunk as fuck, but I'm glad everybody had fun though. We did, we did, girl. Y'all ain't no bitch ain't gonna never see a show like that in real life. I but I'm actually having one too for Easter. Mm -mm. The bunny hop, yeah. Mm -mm. Not the bunny hop, yeah. Is the best friend gonna be there? Who? You know the friend I met in Vegas. Oh, Julia. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, who, who is he talking about? Of course, Julia gonna be there. Julia always gonna be there. I love her. When I say she was a vibe. Vibe. I think I threw the most money on her. I love my Julie. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Oh my god. I can't wait, Rosie, really, because you really finna surprise these bitches in. Who at Mama Door? I had, I mean, it was the cutest little bulldog. I had to call the uh, people to come pick her up, though. Uh, Excuse me. I couldn't keep her. My dog wasn't listening. My dog ain't never had no coochie a day in his life. So the girl dog, we bought the bulldog in. He was trying to fuck her as soon as he saw her. He didn't give a fuck if it was her face. He just wanted to fuck it. So no. Did he stop following you? Oh, Hustle Bus? Yeah, that's that. I had him since he's five weeks. This is my baby. Hustle. Mama boy. Girl, I told you what not you Hey, it, mama dog. boy. Say hi. Say hi. Hey, Hustle. <laughs> So I told you wasn't getting rid of that motherfucking dog. No, stop it! <laughs> you can't look. <coughs> dog, get down. Get down, baby. This my baby. Ah, get off my toe! Uh-uh. Nah. What you call me over here for? You ain't got no food. <sighs> Mama got a little tiny piece of melon. You want to eat it? Shit. That's all Girl, I got. Yes, yes ma'am. We all on the diet, honey. <laughs> man and I ran out of oatmeal shit how you do you make your oatmeal from original oat or do you buy flavored oatmeal both but the original oats ain't nothing like it you throw some little uh, uh, uh earth butter in there which is the vegan butter some motherfucking uh, uh, uh oat milk and that's how you do it eat a banana right after what kind of car you drive? Do you have a license? I don't have a license at all. I never will. I ain't, got one. I ain't got one either, but guess what? I drive a BMW. I paid for one. I drive a Dodge Challenger, and I'm not having, I'm not getting no motherfucking license. Good. Fuck license. They still gonna pull me I, over. Yes, no. Oh, as long as I have insurance, that's all that matters. They talking about Those overseas. bitches ain't even got that. ADA had insurance since 1997. Girl, I just hope don't one of them bitches hit me. <laughs> you don't own your car. Your insurance is high. Uh, I said, what are you doing? You good, bro? What's wrong with the dog? He, I don't know. He bumping up against the couch like a like a crazy person. Mm -hmm. He moving it too. too. This is a strong ass pet bull. Where's the handler. I'm on live with the handler since y'all trying to be funny. Who the handler? Yeah. Bitch, don't ever play with me. I ain't no motherfucking handler, ho. Yes, God, I'm finna come move down there. You gonna be my new handler. <laughs> oh, man. I, I hear you yeah, right now. Get your ass up, bitch. I, it's just my lipstick, my lipstick is taking this shit the fuck off. I hear you I hear you right now every day. Get your ass up, nigga. You gonna walk today. <laughs> Get your ass up. You got a dog? No. You ain't got no animals, Hot Wheels. As long as we've been talking, I ain't seen you with no animals in your fucking apartment. I was gonna get one, but after my brother, you know, was over here visiting with his dog, girl, no ma'am. 
These motherfuckers is like children. They are a handful. I can't do all that shit and pissing on my carpet and on my floors and all that running and jumping and barking and, and panting and shit. I can't do it. Ooh. I can't do it, it baby. You look so edible on live, wifey. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, sexy Bambi. Mm. Why? Y'all keep talking about that's That's the boy from Bobby Show. Is this your phone? Who is this calling you? Hi, Wills. Can I sit on Hello? your lap and go for a ride? Who is this? Oh, I was finna say, who is this older bitch calling your phone? Uh-uh. Might be a sugar mama, honey. Oh, she gonna be sugar dead and sugar in jail. I don't play that <laughs> shit. I don't see how a wicked allow they stay young kids, sons, boys to date older women. That shit is disgusting. It's, it's pedophilia. The fuck? This is what I don't get how nowadays in the schools, how you gonna have 20, 20-year-old 20 teachers teaching motherfuckers are 16 and 17 years old. I know when I was, before I graduated, all my teachers was who, old. Who got a 20-year-old teacher? These teachers be 22 and 23. A 22-year-old teacher, like, 22 teacher? Why you didn't tell me? Mm -hmm. These teachers, young girl, they young. And I feel like that's way too young to be around motherfucking high schoolers. I need my other faha. They say, I have a 19-year-old teacher. My teacher, 19 years old. Oh. See what I'm saying, bitch? I don't know. Growing up, I, I, I never had a 20-some-year-old fucking teacher. I always had, like, old-ass teachers. Like, my teachers was always old. And they let you have it on the first day of motherfucking school. Yeah. Like, and the bitch was evil. Yep. Matter of fact, the first day of school, they'll watch everybody see who friends with who. And the second day, a bitch will come back with that seating chart halfway across the room from my bitch. I'm 23. My baby daddy is 42. There ain't nothing wrong with it. You're a grown-ass woman. And don't ever let nobody tell you there's anything wrong with it because I like older men. When I was 19, it's my first real, real, real nigga underage. was like 32. And I did not, not like, I don't know. I just always have, I've always been attracted to older guys. Like, I think What's guys the old, in their 40s are sexy. What? <laughs> the, the salt the and pepper, day. like, very well put together. I oh, guess I would date me a 42-year-old some a 42 year old man on my what mind. What about a 60-year-old man? Excuse me? Some of these 60-year-old men no, are good, No, you're going on too fucking far now. Girl, 60-year-old man with money. With money. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, put me on that. Put me on that uh motherfucking uh, put me on that motherfucking wheel. I want somebody that's gone. When he say he gonna take me on a date, it's gonna be a real dinner date. Like, I like I used to go on dates, and we used to like I didn't even know nothing about fine dining and shit like that. And he used to take me out. We used to sit down to eat, have wine, talk to me soothing and all kind of shit. Of course, talking a bitch out of drugs. I mean, hey. But <laughs> but damn, I can like these so, younger niggas. Like the the last thing I was just fucking with, I ain't trying to talk about him. Whatever, y'all see me? I post a picture with him on the internet or whatever. <laughs> the little small, small one. Um, no, mm -mm, no. So I am very much single right now. Um, it, it just it just didn't it didn't work because the age is too close, and me not being yes. Me not being um, mature, how um, me still maturing, you know, and growing. I want somebody that's going to teach me. You know what I'm saying? Not mm -hmm. us being in the same boat. I need a nigga that's going to teach me how to that's mature help and how to be a more. lady and a woman and stuff like that. I know how to be a, lady, a woman and shit like that, but how the way I talk to my niggas, like, I should not be talking to them like that, Lord knows. I should not be talking to them like that. But guess what? If I were a mature you. man, I would never have to talk to my man like that, like, at all. At all. Like, there would, would be no need to because he's going to calm me the fuck down. And then he ain't even got to do all of that because I'm not going to yell. I might talk. Okay. I might talk. 
but I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to do nothing. At the end of the day, I like older guys because they are very mature. Now, all of them aren't, but I know a mature man when I see one. So, mm -hmm. yeah. A man should definitely be... Why are you trying to come with us Why are you trying huh? to come with us Girl, because they was getting disrespectful, girl. Oh, so? Let them get disrespectful. So, I, um, this is my thing, and I've been single for a while, but this is my thing. I feel like if I'm with somebody, I feel like the whole purpose of us being together should be to upgrade and elevate to the next level. Oh. To oh, yes, income. of course, that too. To everything. to everything. I don't be having time for all that arguing and that petty shit. If you want to go fuck somebody else, fine. Just at the end of the day, make sure that check coming into this house. No. No. Is that, no. Is, is that settling? That's definitely settling. If you want to go fuck somebody somebody else why do i need you i could find another nigga with some money or just have your own money like i don't know i just feel like me being i'm not a monogamous girl so like nobody never seen me in a relationship because they won't like i i don't know like i'm not i'm not a fully committable type woman so i feel like when i'm in that moment it's like oh my god like i have a man and the next thing you know i start be like oh god i got a man Fuck! Like, what am I about to do with this nigga? Okay, so then I, I my, my true, like, I be trying to tell dudes when they first start dealing with me, I am a handful. Well, I am not a yes bitch. So it's gonna be you hard can, if to get. If you can survive three. the three phases of hell that we put you through, then you meant for us. And and but I think me, the last nigga, I ain't gonna say his name, but the last nigga I was just with the one I was just talking about, he only survived one stage of hell. He only so I had a nigga that survived all three stages of hell and he's dead, but I miss him so much. But yes, like that one, the last one I was just with, yeah, he survived one stage of hell. That nigga told me that I am crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, it's not in a bad type way, but bitch, you you fucking crazy. Like, and I'm just like, that's something that I cannot handle. Like, you know. So I need a nigga that's gonna tame me. And if you cannot me, there's no reason for you to even fuck around with me because you'll be like, why the fuck are you talking to me like that? Well, because you're... I, ain't gonna lie. Like, I guess I've been single for so long that after like two or three days of being around a nigga, I start to get annoyed. I start to get irritated. I start to want my space. Like, I'd be like, bitch, go home. Go do what you do. I don't care. Yeah. But then that just gives me something to bitch about when you come back. <laughs> no, I don't bitch. Like, when a nigga... I want a nigga to not be in my face. That's the problem. I want a man that's gonna go and do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out my face. I don't want a man to be under me all day. I don't want a man to lay up with me all day. We can lay up for a few hours, fuck, and then you have to get the fuck up and go do something. I cannot have that because I need my alone time. I need my space. I need my area. Mm -hmm. And then when I have that, that gives you to come in, baby. Oh my God, I miss you all day. Like, I got your food ready. Your clothes is, is, is folded out on the bed for you to take a shower. Your towel's out there. And then when you're done, you get some pussy. Other than that, if a nigga sit up under me all day, that is going to be, be very, 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 Turn very off fucking nerve-wracking. And, and it just shows me that you have no ambition, that you don't want to get up to do shit. Mm. I don't want no nigga mm -hmm. sitting around me all fucking day. Why the fuck are you sitting around when there's money out there to be made? Mm -hmm. I don't so care if it's a pity, bitch. You better go get it. Too. Fuck out of here. I don't, don't give a bring fuck back no bitches unless I say so. We, if you got the money, if look, you got to think about this. If he has the money, why is he going to go get other bitches when he got two at home? No, oh, bitch. If so I ain't going to be at home either, I'm going to be. You got to worry about that shit because, nigga, once you start cheating, I'm out. <laughs> On my mama. I'm not playing them type of games. Uh-uh. Once you start cheating, I'm out. And I fuck with cheaters. That's all I fuck with. Niggas that, that got bitches. I be fucking with a lot of cheating ass niggas. And I would never make them up with them nigga. One nigga just tried to expose me talking about some, um, that he was going to expose our sex tape or whatever. Um, uh, because he got mad when he seen me with the other nigga online. And I'm like, go right ahead, nigga, because you're going to ruin your own fucking life. Once I sue your ass for everything you don't have. Bitch, you want to so make another piece. So and I ain't never been in a relationship with this man. I ain't never, uh, and ne never went out on a date with him. We just fucked. I go to his house and we'll just fuck, like, and I leave the next day or maybe that same night. Like, okay, bye. Like, that's that's what it was. And he got mad because... Saying that. 
now that I'm on TV and shit like that, like he wants to be in that like that spot. Like nigga, you can leak whatever you want to. All it's gonna show is you moaning like a bitch. <laughs> Eating my ass. <laughs> Eating a nigga ass. That's all that's gonna shut up. Girl, not you put them clappers on his motherfucking face. Always. They all <laughs> get it. If you wanna if you really think a it, okay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you and Tommy got that bad. <laughs> <laughs> When I moved out here to Vegas, that's when I first got my ass ate. They are some freaky niggas out here. Freaky dicky dicky. Well, girl, I, I ain't me. I'm lying. I did meet some while I was there. Who does? Don't. Grab. <laughs> I met one at the club. <laughs> you nasty ass. At the <laughs> strip club. Child, look, look. <laughs> sent my brother off the next morning. <laughs> While he was <laughs> and the niggas slipped away from his baby mama, came right to my room. And niggas be out here lying, talking about they don't like they ass ate. I expose you, nigga. <laughs> they do not be, be um. They do not be caring about expose my wheelchair. Expose me, honey. I'll expose you. <laughs> now I'm eating his ass. <laughs> but they freaky as fucking used to do. They feel the most yeah, used Houston. to thing in the world. These, these niggas in Houston filthy, bitch. I, I don't know. I can't I get, you know what? I fuck probably like two niggas in Houston. I'm gonna say two. Because I don't, I, I, the Dallas was, Dallas was uh, a long time ago. I fuck like three niggas out there. Oh, yeah, Dallas, where they at, honey. Uh, yeah. Girl, I, I'm from Houston, Ooh, but I must damn. say, girl, I, bitch, every time I go to Dallas, I make sure I get me a nasty old hotel room. I swear to God, I was like, I was like God damn, them niggas. Are... And they hood, hood. <laughs> bitch, stay hood, hood. <laughs> I, I don't I know like, why. Yeah, so. yeah. I think I was out there for a few weeks. I was like, yep, any, any, money, mouth. Oh, yes, ma'am. You go out, you a bitch be going out there talking about I'm gonna stay a couple of days, end up staying a whole fucking week. Um, that is, I say the best dick I had was from Texas. Okay, you know, Texas boys do it, you know, everything's Texas, bigger and better in and Texas. And second on the list is Detroit. Detroit, oh my god, Jesus Christ, Whew. LA is the last of the list. When I tell you they at the bottom, LA is yeah, just yeah. the last. Girl, I like, wasn't even attracted no. to mm -mm. nobody in LA. I wasn't even attracted mm -mm. to nobody in LA. Them niggas, I, all them niggas I out there know. seem like they... And, and, and I grew up, uh, the dick in LA is like, I don't know what the fuck y'all bitches be going through. Because it's not, I don't, I don't know, that's not it. But I'm sorry, them Texas boys got number one. Detroit got number two. Chicago <laughs> Oh, got number three. They say Texas man got that dog in him. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me stop lying. Hold on. Hold on. Because I did fuck a nigga from the Bay. That nigga. He must not have been from there. Because, bitch, I couldn't find no. nobody. Oh, no. He was from the Bay. Yes, he was from the Bay. He was blind. <laughs> uh, he couldn't see. Ask me where I vanished to for an hour the last time we was ask me where I vanished to in, in LA for the, the last time we was there for an hour after that little incident happened. What incident? At Natalie's event. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I had to go to my room and get calmed down, honey. Oh, oh San Bernardino. What the fuck? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so yeah, he wasn't blind, but he had got shot in in in, in uh one of his eyes. Like he had got shot in his eye, but he could see out the other one, so he wasn't blind. Okay, but so would you would you date a famous rapper? No. Why not? Why would I? 
out. Like even if it, it even if it was something the child kept hush hush for me. No. To, to really know each other. Mm-mm. So you wouldn't date anybody in the industry. Nope. Okay. I I think I know your reasoning, but can I can I hear your reason? Um. Too much people. Be too much in the business. You date a regular nigga, ain't nobody gonna be in your fucking business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah, I definitely get it. And not just that. Like, right now, I'm looking for a lot for of people pass around in the industry. Yeah, nah, I fuck that. Right now, I'm looking for me a nice, tall, thick type nigga. Like I want him to be a little chubby. I was gonna like say he sound gotta like, be like stalky, African. like he gotta be stalky, big, like stalky, like buff arms. I want him to to be a, a dominant, like you know, that's what I want. I don't want no alpha male. I just want a nigga that's dominant and sweet and soft at the same time. And I can't no more. I'm not dating any more small men. Like it's not happening. I'm so sorry. I look fucking crazy. Okay, okay. I get it, babes. I get it. Mm-hmm. Girl, y'all, y'all is disrespectful. Okay. They talking about like Chef D. Y'all tried it. Yeah, Chef D got a big old thing of lane. I be seeing I be seeing a print all the time. Through his little Girl. his little uh his little sweat vans. Girl. I do not be looking at that man. <laughs> I do not be looking at that man. He cool or whatever, you know. He was one of the first people that I met at Zeus, too. Mm. That's crazy. Me and him was just chopping it up. I love you, too, baby. No, what's not? I did not say Chef D was ugly. Before y'all start go to start, see how they do. He not ugly. He just not you know. He not my type. You know I I feel like if I would have been on the show with Chef D, I feel like we wouldn't have had no problems with each other. He would have stayed in his his lane. I would have stayed in my lane. You mm-hmm. feel me? We might have talked mm-hmm. to each other. I might have you know. But after a good cussing each other out, I feel like me and him would have been would have been good. Now my evil twin, banger. Banger. That's the guy in the wheelchair. This the guy that's getting out the wheelchair. He getting out the wheelchair. <laughs> I'm getting out this motherfucker. I can't wait. Oh, I thought you were saying somebody else was getting out the wheelchair. No, I'm talking about me, bitch. Of course you gonna get out of that motherfucker. You better drag Bro. your ass out of there, and then I'm gonna just put some little robot things on your legs and make you walk, bitch. I'm about to start inventing them right now. Bitch, I can't wait to be running. No I thought Chance and Romney was gonna be together. That would have been cute. Mm-mm. But I get it. I, I, I gotta find that Romney. They just became a mom. Congratulations and guess advice is never give up. No matter how much they cry, scream, and when they become teenagers, cuss you out and and, and, and do all the things that we did to our parents. Just don't give up. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh my god, did you see that shit? Um or that man killed his son? No. I don't look for things like that. I just was scrolling uh, on the internet the other day. I'm not about to come for Chef D. Stop it. What the, <laughs> what they say about Chef D? Don't, don't be mean. Y'all are some mean people on this internet. They are. When you I thought they said this nigga chance is a cupcake. When you come, I'm in box to St. Croix, Rolly. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl, hey, girl, let me find out. Girl, <laughs> I got a nigga girl, out there, too. Girl, what you getting this to in St. Croix, Ooh, girl? What's that happens in St. Croix stays in St. Croix. Oh, bitch. So Island teens. Island teens. You ain't tell me about St. Croix. First of all, I am not mean, bitch. Fuck you talking about, ho. I ain't said nothing mean on this live the whole time. I spoke facts. How Will's new name finna be High Stepper? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
hot stepper. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. How was loved when you was on the show? See? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, if y'all love seeing me on TV so much, start spamming motherfucking comments at all the TV networks. All of them. Fuck. Somebody said, why the fuck are you talking to your fans like that? Honey, those are not fans. I'm talking to people that's on this motherfucker bashing me. What are you talking about fans? Fans don't do shit like that. These are weirdos that I'm talking to. I know who my real fans is. Trust and believe me. Mm -hmm. I know the difference. My girl really do know who her day ones is. Oh, I want some hot wings too, girl, but I cannot eat that shit. Girl. No hot wings for you, honey. No, no hot wings for me. I had some grilled chicken, though. It was so good. I'm waiting on my friend to bring me some motherfucking seafood. Uh. Oh, my God. Seafood. Sorry, let me What you funny? You said? I'm waiting on her to bring me some seafood, some crawfish. Ooh, ooh why do I have no crawfish? I don't know. She a good friend. She every time she go get her some seafood, she always give me some. I'm about to get on my Call of Duty and go buy my new skin and start fucking slicing and dicing these goddamn fucking people to fuck up. All right, babes. I'm finna. Uh, I'm gonna call you later. And if y'all got Call of Duty, drop y'all 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 gamer tag. In my comments on my my very recent post, I'm gonna start adding y'all, and I want people to to come and play with me so I can see how good y'all is. So we keep it one v one. If y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a contest too. We gonna, uh -oh. gonna do a shit talking contest on the game, and then whoever uh got some little hostility towards me on the internet over a show that ain't got shit to do with them, y'all could want one v one me on the game. Guarantee y'all y'all won't win, but Drop y'all motherfucking gamer tags, bitch. Y'all heard my out. motherfucking bitch. Do you bet on it? Oh, yeah, we could definitely bet. Oh, I, honey, don't lose your money. Please my don't. And I play Xbox. Xbox. I'm not a, a, a Sony type bitch, so we can still cross play. That don't mean shit. Girl, why I thought you had a PlayStation? Why the hell would I have a, a PlayStation? I don't know. I just thought you had one, bitch. Do I look like a Sony type bitch? Girl. That's what all my friends have. Ew. You know what? <laughs> yeah, I knew we were different type Virgos. Because you would be the type. What kind of system do you have? A PS5. But look, my um, I only have, I only bought it because my son wanted one and my nephew wanted one. So I had bought them, you know, PS5. And it would deal to get a third one. That's the only reason I barely play my shit. We are definitely two different Virgos. <laughs> that's what that's what separates us right there. On the line. The, the Xbox and the PlayStation. Bitch, you got me fucked up. You better go trade that motherfucker in for an Xbox right now. Trade it. Trade it. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Is the main reason why I got the PlayStation too is because like. It's, it carry all the Harry Potter games, and you know I'm a Harry Potter junkie. So does Xbox. We, what do you mean? Oh, they do. Oh wait, you mean the ones that was made back then yeah. too? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we ain't gonna. Yeah, girl. I'm, I'm a Harry Potter junkie, girl. I can't help it. I am too. In the Twilight. Okay. Come I, on. I probably play up in a seat here and re rewatch all the damn Twilights today. I think that's what I'm about to do because I can't do shit. I can't go nowhere. I can't get no penis. I can't do shit. So you can't get no penis. Oh, you just oh I yeah. cannot have anything stuffed inside of my vagina. Let me tell you something, okay? I'm about to tell you something. What happened? So I I, I picked up my vibrator. What's right? up, Lee? What's up, Leaky Boom? So I tried to use my vibrator. <laughs> and when I turned it on, and I was like, oh yeah, they you know. Why the fuck the vibration made me swell up from the damn vibrator thing? All, all the liquid started moving in my stomach. 
and it just was like, I'm like, ah, I'm like, oh, hell no. I said, oh, hell no. I took, put that motherfucking thing down, and yes, I cannot have sex. Like, I cannot have sex, like, for a few, so, few more months. Like, probably, so, like, another a month and a half. So you pent up. Pent up. What's it, what that you mean? Frustrated. You frustrated. No, I'm not frustrated. I'm actually enjoying not wanting somebody to always want to have, like, no, like, oh, I just, little, I'd rather this. This little bitch, they only bend over real quick. <laughs> So it's been since after the reunion, right after the reunion, I fucked. So, like, literally, as soon as I got there, I, I, got, I, I left the reunion. The That's why I left the reunion so fast. I'm like, all right, I'm about to say my motherfucking final thoughts. I'm going to fuck my nerdy up. Hopped in my car, and I went and motherfucking took all my Let's go. Let's go. Like, nah, we ain't doing this. So um, that was the last time I had sex. Uh, and, 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 yeah. Girl, I'm still I got another like a month and a half, like I said, probably. Well, probably two months. To where it probably won't Girl. hurt. I don't know. So I think Virgo's gonna be going a long time without sex because we so picky as to who we have sex with. We'll flirt no, with and I and I didn't get my coochie done or nothing. It's only because, okay, so <clears throat> I think girls have different type of vaginas because. I be watching porn and I be seeing these girls take the longest dicks, right? Them dicks be so long. So when it gets a little bit too far in my shit, I think I have a short tunnel. I start feeling it hit in my stomach. Like, oh no, like, okay, back the fuck out. So that's when it gets like, so now that I got a tummy tuck, my stomach, like, like, it's by, it's every, I feel like everything's right there. So I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared as fuck to have sex. Girl, you so I'm just gonna wait. And I'm gonna wait two more months to have sex. And then that's it. Girl, I'm not about to fuck. have nothing break open. Like I'm terrified. I'm so in. I'm sold up from the inside to the outside. Mm. So it's like, what if his dick breaks through my stomach or something? I don't know. I'll just be thinking some crazy shit. Girl. I can't do it. I, I can't do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not going back to Miami to go get some nuts. Girl, yeah, girl, you might, might want to go on head and heel, honey. Somebody just said that. that like, somebody said they fuck right after. I can't do it. Girl, just go ahead and let that ride, girl. Don't, 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 don't be having nothing out in your stomach. But girl, I, I beg the different girl. If girl, you know who be taking the biggest cocks? Who? It be the gays. I know. I watch gay porn too, so I, I know what y'all do. But I'm talking about girls, like oh, girl, not me, girl. Ain't nothing. Let me tell you something. I, I I've always had this rule. Ain't nothing bigger than me going inside of me. I'm so sorry. I just don't do big penises. I feel like you can put some of it in there. Eventually, I'm gonna start complaining. <laughs> Girl, pushing a bitch off and lighting a cigarette. Talking about we done. No. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm I'm one of those. That's why it, it's not gonna last long. Cause I'm eventually gonna start complaining. Like, okay, this is starting to hurt. But mm -mm. it's certain girls, certain niggas. I don't know. Y'all, y'all got bussies. But us, I think girls. Some girls have long, like long pussy holes, and then some girls got short pussy holes. I know how to explain it. Cause I was sitting there looking, and I'm like, how is she taking all of this shit? I mean, he's in there for the balls deep. Like, there's nothing left. And she's just screaming, and I'm just sitting here like, why is she doing this? I know her coochie is hurting. I'm not okay. even, I don't know. We, we can do half, and, and that's it. Girl, be killing me when they be getting into the frog position. I be like, I be feeling that. that I be like, oh. That's when it's over. <laughs> that's when you're getting the fuck, fuck up. That, it's over. It's over then. You're not doing that. <laughs> I don't even remember. The last time somebody did that shit, and I was most, I, that nigga. He, yeah, Joan, go on and get up. We, I, I, I'm a very simple, like, we ain't gotta do all that crazy shit that's gonna hurt me. <laughs> it's not hurting you, it's hurting me. <laughs> yeah, a, a nigga be having fun doing that shit. He be trying to see I can't how far me. he can that's, go. I'm so sorry. I, I, I cannot take no penis. It's not happening. I don't know how bitches do that shit. That shit is crazy. It's fun to look at on the, on the phone, but 
Who's hell? Mm mm. Yeah. Oops. I they be high. I know in. they do. They gotta be high and stuff because how you don't feel that? Girl, they be drunk. Them hoes be drunk. All them content creators and shit to be doing that shit, they be drunk. Sloppy ass drunk. And I know. Yeah. Let me not, let me not expose nobody, even though, you know, nigga did me dirty. Let me not expose them. Yeah, because uh, oh, I expose him, and, and, and if I was to expose him, it's going to expose two other people. Don't expose nobody on this motherfucking live because you know people aren't recording this live. How is? I know, but you know you met two of the people. Oh, they got big thing lines. Girl, hell no. Ah, oh, shit, ain't gonna get excited for you had you had a booking with two of them, honey. <laughs> Why would you say that? Girl. What did I tell you that people?